Hi, it's Rachel from the blog thislovelylittlefarmhouse.com and today I'm going to tell y'all all about our Berkey water filter. Why we like it, some of the things we don't like about it, so kind of like a review combined with pros and cons and help you decide if it's the right filter for your family. So I saw my first Berkey a very long time ago when I was a little kid at some friend's house. They had one and through the years I've seen them at a lot of our more like health conscious, health food kind of friends houses. It's really popular among people who are trying to ditch the toxins and eat more healthy and live a healthier lifestyle and we're going to talk today a little bit about why. This is the Big Berkey model. It's a 2.25 gallon. They have all kinds of different sizes so you can pick which one's right for your family if you decide to get one. But this is the one that we have and I got the stainless steel spout with it. And I don't have the fluoride filters because we are on well water so we don't have fluoride in our water. Thankfully, if we were on city water, I would definitely have the fluoride filters. Uh, we have endocrine disorders um, in our family, which is a hormone related problem. And fluoride is a hormone disruptor. It is one of the first things that I cut out of our lifestyle when I really started getting serious about going, um, you know, toxic free and healthier living and real food and all that jazz. First off, I want to talk about a little bit about why clean, healthy water is so important and why water is so important because the human body is made up of up to 60% water. So like 60% of this is water. It's vital to the function of the body and it lubricates and it shock absorbs. It's a shock absorber for the fetus when you're pregnant. It lubricates joints. It's also a shock, shock absorber for the brain, the spinal cord. So it's really, really important. You can go a really long time without food, but you can only go three days without water. That's how important water is to the function of our bodies. So the flip side of that coin is that if you're trying to be healthy and you're drinking all this water, but you're drinking chemical laden water that's full of all kind of toxic things, fluoride and chlorine and arsenic and lead and all this stuff, you're defeating the purpose of drinking more water to be healthy if you're drinking all of that nasty stuff in your water. It's kind of a soapbox for me. Uh, the whole what we put into our bodies. Uh, I really truly believe that the reason so many people are unhealthy today, a major part of that is the chemicals and stuff in all of our products that we use. It's standard. Standard products that you use in your um, daily life, your bathroom products, your face, facial products, shower, toothpaste, shampoo, soap, I mean everything and also the things we put in our bodies, our food. It's laced with chemicals that are used in the growing process and it's genetically modified and the air is full of chemicals from all of our processes that we do and everything, every aspect of our lives, we're being inundated with all of these chemicals and toxins that our bodies are not made for. So I could go on and on about that because I really think that that's a huge reason why as a whole, our country and our, our people, our world are so unhealthy. But anyway, that's a, another topic for another time. So what's in water? Why should we even worry about filtering our water? There are common contaminants and it de varies depending on where you live, but there's some that are common no matter what. And that includes naturally occurring chemicals like radon, arsenic, and uranium. Also other sources of water contamination are byproducts of manufacturing processes, malfunctioning wastewater treatments, and fertilizers and pesticides, especially if you live in a heavy farming area. Those contaminants can be in well water also. You're recommended to test your water every year to see what's in it. So even if you're on a well like we are, you're not guaranteed to be drinking clean, pure, healthy water just because it's a well. Common city water contaminants are chlorine from the cleaning process and fluoride that they add to it, um, which I've already talked about why I don't like that. 
Like I said, the CDC is who recommends that you test your water yearly and they have a whole list of things that you should test for including um, coliform, bacteria, uranium, mercury, lead, pesticides, VOCs, all kinds of stuff. And that testing can get really expensive but they recommend to do it every year to make sure that your water supply is not getting contaminated. So what do you do? The easiest solution especially if you know you have contaminants in your water, like you're in the city and you have chlorine and fluoride and whatever else comes through the pipe, the easiest solution is to get a filter. But there are so many different kinds of filters and it's confusing sometimes to know what to get. They have um, many different types, the inline type that you hook up to your water pipe, they have the kind that you hook onto your faucet, that screws onto the end of your faucet, pitcher filters and reverse osmosis and distillation and all kinds of stuff. But there are cons to each of those methods, and there's cons to the Berkey as well. It's not a perfect filter solution. Uh, I don't want you to think that, because there are some drawbacks to it. But I feel like the pros far surpass the cons, and we're gonna get into those right now. So what are the pros versus the cons of the Berkey water filter? First is the stainless steel construction of it. Stainless steel, it will, if you take care of it, it's gonna last forever. It's not gonna rust, it's not gonna corrode. The worst that's gonna happen to this is if you drop it really hard and dent it, or if you scratch it really hard when you're cleaning it, it could get some scale buildup if you have hard water, but an easy way to clean that off is to do like a 50-50 vinegar water solution, and you can let it soak on the stainless steel, spray it, and it'll just come right off. So stainless steel construction is a big pro in my book because it's gonna last forever, basically. The Berkey, the actual filters, the black Berkey filters, they remove so much more than any other filter on the market while also, this is a whole nother point, still leaving the beneficial minerals in there that you need for hydration and that you need, your body needs some minerals. So it doesn't take all those good ones out. It takes the harmful ones out. And there's a huge, huge long, there's a big long list of what the filters remove and I'll link that down below. But I'll read you um, just a short snippet of some of the things that they take out and I'm gonna be reading it here. More than 99.999% of viruses more than 99.9999% of bacteria and surrogates such as Salmonella enterica, I'm not sure if that's how you say that, more than 99.8% of some things such as bromoform and chloroform, sorry I'm not a scientist, I don't know how to say these big long words, inorganic minerals such as chlorine over 99.9%, Heavy metals such as aluminum, which it's over 99%, lead, more than 99.9%, mercury, more than 99.9%, and nickel, more than 99.9%. More than 99.9% .9 of microorganisms, including E. coli and coliform, more than 99.9% .9 of pharmaceutical drugs, more than 95% of nitrates, more than 99.9% .9 of petroleum products, a huge long list of pesticides and volatile organic compounds. You can go look at it. It's a lot of stuff. Up to 97% reduction of fluoride with the additional fluoride filter elements. Now it's not 100%. Fluoride is very difficult to remove, so 97% is very impressive. And a whole lot more than I could reasonably even talk about here. So if you want to see the whole long list of it, click that link in the description below and it'll take you straight to the filter specifications and everything that it gets out because it's a lot of stuff. So that, it honestly is the biggest reason to buy a Berkey because it does filter out so much more and so much more than the competition. Like the standard Brita pitcher filters, they take out, um, I looked these up, they take out Chlor they reduce, okay, they don't take it out. They reduce chlorine, cadmium, mercury, copper, and zinc. That's it. <laughs> That's kind of a letdown after you read the whole long list of what Ber Berkey's take out. That's pretty sad. Next, the Berkey is portable. If you wanted to take it with you, if you're going on a camping trip or you're going on vacation and you know that you're not gonna have clean water, all you have to do is take the top part off, empty the water out, 
You probably want to take your filters out and wrap them in a towel or something so they don't get damaged because if you crack them, they won't work anymore. But yeah, you just take it, uh, wrap it in a towel and take it with you, set it up when you get there and pour some water in it and you have clean drinking water. With the addition of the white fluoride filters, it also does, like I said, greatly reduce the fluoride and, and takes out arsenic as well. And I mentioned this earlier, but the beneficial minerals are not removed. It just removes the harmful things and it lets the beneficial minerals pass through. Don't ask me how, I'm not a scientist, but that's what it does. Uh, so next is you can filter any water source with it. Now you do want to use the cleanest water possible because it'll greatly reduce the lifespan of your filters if you're putting nasty, dirty water in it. So even if you have to use a dirty water source, you can um, kind of strain it first, like through a t-shirt or some kind of cloth to remove any debris and a bunch of the big stuff. So the cleanest you can put in it, the better, but it can filter any water source, ponds, streams, um, runoff from your roof. It's great for anything like that. If in an emergency situation, like if you're a prepper or you live on a homestead where you commonly lose power and you won't be able to get water. Anyway, whatever the situation may be in an emergency, you can use other water sources. It doesn't have to be out of the tap. And then the last thing I want to talk about is that the filters last a really long time. So each black burgundy filter is rated for 3,000 gallons of water. So then when you have two, which is kind of standard, when you have two filters in there, it'll go for 6,000 gallons. If you use 2,000 gallons a year, you do the math. It's a long time. That comes out to less than two cents a gallon for clean, healthy water that actually will help you be more healthy. That's good. And the other thing is that you can clean the filters. So if your water starts filtering really slow, it's probably because the pores are starting to get clogged with contaminants that it's removing. So you can take them out, clean them all up real good, reprime them, put them back in, and it'll start filtering quicker again. Berkey recommends to clean them every six months, but you might not have to clean them that often, but it, depending on your water, you might have to. And also, going along with cleaning them, you can test the filters to see if they're still working, which is a huge plus because those other systems, how do you know when it's not working anymore? You don't. And if you forget to change the filter, you know, one of the ones you have to change monthly, that adds up quick. And if you forget to change it, then you're just drinking the same water without knowing it. <laughs> so you can test the filters. You can do the red food dye test. You have to have artificial dye. It has to be artificial or else it won't be removed completely if it's the natural dye. But a red food dye test, you do one teaspoon of artificial red food coloring per gallon of water and put it in your top and then have your filters, the black nipples sticking down there over some cups or jars or something like that. Do it in two individual ones because then you can tell if one of your filters needs to be replaced and one of them is still good. If you did it into just one big container, you wouldn't be able to tell 100% which one, like if they were both coming out perfectly clear or if one was coming out clear and one was coming out tainted a little bit. So the red food dye test is really easy to do. You just do a teaspoon of artificial red dye to a gallon of water, pour it in your thing, pour it in the top, and let it come through and see what your filters do. A few cons, because there are some downfalls to the Berkey. I'm not gonna hide that fact. There are complaints, no matter what. But one of the biggest ones is that it's big. And it doesn't look as big because it's kind of behind me, but it's a big filter. It's a big filter. And it won't fit under, I'll show you, it, won't, it doesn't fit under a standard top cabinet. So, you can't put it under your counter, under your cabinet on the countertop. And I can't even sit it there because it'll hit the knob on the door. So it's too big to fit underneath, like on your counter, under the cabinet. You can put it on your island. You might have to put it in a different place. So that's one of the big drawbacks is that it's big and bulky and it doesn't fit under the, ca under the cabinet. So it's taking up valuable counter space. Get right down to it. It takes up valuable counter space. Also, it has to be refilled regularly, which I almost didn't include that because almost all filters you have to fill up to get the water to go through, but not like for an inline or reverse osmosis or something like that. So I did include it because there are filter types that you don't have to refill. And it's not hard, it's just a hassle. Um, this one holds 2.25 gallons, so 
when you empty it out you have to fill it back up and you also want to be careful and make sure the bottom is empty before you fill the top because if you overfill it it will um, overflow right here because it's not a seal it's just sitting in there so that's kind of it's just a hassle it's not really a bad thing and then the last thing is it is a high upfront cost it's definitely an investment but that's how you need to look at it if you think that the Berkey is right for you think of it as an investment for your health because you're investing in having clean water here for your family that's going to help you in the long run be much healthier so it does seem like a lot but then when you add up how long the filters last and then how often you would have to be replacing those Brita filters it doesn't take long to see that you're actually saving money it just takes longer to save it so with the Berkey you're putting the money up front and you'll save it over a period of time with the Brita you're saving you're spending $15 up front but over the same course of time you would spend way more money replacing Brita filters by the time your Berkey filters finally wear out so depends on which direction you want to go but if you want to take out the most nasty stuff out of your water and you want to make a smart investment the Berkey you can't go wrong but that is why we got a Berkey that's why we love it and use it in our house if you think it could be a good fit for you, check out the links below. I'll put the one for the um, filter specifications of what all it takes out, the Big Berkey, which is what we have. And just check below, I might throw in a couple other links for some of the different pages talking about the black filter and the fluoride filter and those kind of things. So thank you for joining today. I hope that this answered some questions about the Berkey filter and gave you a better idea of whether it might be right for you and your family. Oh, but by the way, be sure and check out, if you get a filter, if you get a Berkey, be sure and check out my other videos. I'll have one on how to do the red tide test, how to prime and assemble your Berkey, which is not difficult, but I'm a very visual person, so it helps me to be able to see this stuff. If you're visual too, go check out those videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me so much, more than you know, and I really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video. Flora, um, so it was one of the first things that I started getting rid of. Mm. Pharmacal.